Today we will be discussing about the design of bevel gates. Actually, we will be solving an example problem in this case. And the question that we will be discussing in this session is a pair of 20 degree full depth involute tip bevel gears connects two shafts at right angles having velocity ratio 3 is to 1. The gear is made of cast steel having allowable static stress as 70 megapascal and the pinion is of steel with the allowable static stress as 100 megapascal. The pinion transmits 37.5 kilowatt at 750 rpm. Design for strength and check for dynamic strength and wear resistance. Now for solving this particular question, we use the data book prepared by Mahadevan and Balavir Reddy. The title of the data book is Design Data Handbook for Mechanical Engineers published by CBS Publishers and Distributors Private Limited. The given data in this question is P power is equal to 37.5 kilowatts N1 the speed of the pinion in RPM is 750 RPM capital N denotes speed in RPM and 1 denotes it is pinion and I the velocity ratio is given as 3 that is n1 divided by n2 or d2 by d1 or z2 by z1 is equal to 3. d and z are the pitch circle diameters and number of teeth respectively. The suffix 2 represents it is gear. So from this relation we can find out the speed of the gear as n2 as 750 divided by 3 that is equal to 250 rpm. The pressure angle given is 20 degree, the sigma d1 equal to 100 megapascal and the sigma d2 equal to 70 megapascal. In this case, we assume z1 that is the number of teeth in pinion as 18 and it is the minimum number of teeth to avoid interference. So this value can be obtained from the table 12.4b in page number 230. Now we can obtain the number of teeth in gear z2 as i into z1 that is 3 into 18 as 54. Now the pitch angles for pinion it is tan delta 1 which is equal to 1 by i which is equal to 1 by 3 therefore delta 1 equal to 18.43. For gear tan delta 2 that is equal to i, i is equal to 3 so delta 2 is equal to 71.57 degrees. The equations for the pitch angles is uh, provided in page number 217 as equation 12.32a and 12.32b. Now we find out the virtual number of teeth for pinion as well as gear. For pinion z1e equal to z1 divided by cos delta 1. z1 in this case is 18 and delta 1 is 18.43. So z1e equal to 18.97. For gear z2e equal to z2 divided by cos delta 2. z2 is 54 and delta 2 is 71.57. So z2e equal to 170.81. The equation for the virtual number of teeth for bevel gears is given as equation 12.35d in page number 218. Now the Lewis form factor for pinion y1 equal to 0 0.154 minus 0 0.912 divided by z1e. z1e in this case is 18.97 hence y1 is equal to 0 0.1057 and for gear y2 equal to 0 0.1487. The equation for Lewis form factor is given in equation 12.5d of page number 204. In the first step of the solution, we identify the weaker member. In order to identify the weaker member, we have to calculate the sigma d into y time for pinion and gear. And the member with the lower value of sigma d into y will be weaker. For pinion, 
sigma d into y is given as sigma d1 y1 as 10.57 and for gear it is sigma d2 y2 which is given as 10.41. So the sigma d y term is lower for gear and hence it is the weaker and the further design calculations will be based on gear or it will be done for gear. The next step is to find out the module based on the beam strength. In order to find out the module based on beam strength, first we calculate the tangential tooth load and then we equate this tangential tooth load with the tangential tooth load obtained from the Lewis equation. First, we calculate the tangential tooth load Ft equal to 1000 PCS divided by V. It is equation 12.7a in page number 205. The P is the power transmitted, that is 37.5 kilowatt. CS is the service factor. We assume it to be 1.5 assuming medium shocks and 10 hours per day working. It is taken from table 12.8 in page number 205. V is the pitch line velocity and V equal to pi into D2 N2 divided by 60 meters per second. And D2 is equal to M into Z2. But currently we doesn't know what is the value of module M and we leave M as it is and Thus, we obtain the pitch line velocity V as pi into m into z2 into n2 divided by 60. We substitute the value of z2 and n2 and thus we obtain V as 706.5 into 10 raised to minus 3 m meters per second and m is in millimeter. By substituting the values in the equation for Ft, we get Ft as 79,617.8 divided by m. Now we find out the tangential tooth load based on the Lewis equation. For bevel gears, the Lewis equation is given as Ft is equal to sigma d cv b y m into L minus b divided by L. It is the equation 12.37 in page number 218. Now sigma d is the allowable static stress that is sigma d2 so it is 70 megapascal or 70 newton per millimeter squared. b is the phase width that is 10 m. We assume it to be 10 m 10 times module. It is taken from the equation 12.36 a in page number 218. Now L is the cone distance that is assumed as 30 times M. It is again taken from equation 12.36 B in page number 218. Now capital Y is equal to pi into Y2. Y2 is 0 0.1487. So capital Y equal to 0 0.4669. Now substituting the values in the equation for Ft we get Ft in terms of Cv and M. So it is 217.89 Cv M squared. So now we equate both the tangential tooth loads. So Ft is equal to 79,617.8 divided by M which is equal to 217.89 Cv M squared and from this relation, we get Cv into M cube as 365.4. Now we take this value 365.4 as RHS and Cv into M cube as LHS. And for the module to be selected, the value Cv into M cube should be greater than 365.4, that is the RHS. Now, to find out the module M, we follow a trial and error procedure and in the trial and error procedure for the first trial we obtain M approximately as cube root of 2 times RHS. In this case RHS is 
365.4 and thus m is obtained as 9.01 and we standardize this value 9.01 to a higher value that is 10 millimeter and this particular standardized module 10 mm can be obtained from the table 12.24 in page number 242. Now we assume the teeth to be generated one. So CV, the equation for CV in that case is 6.1 divided by 6.1 plus B. And this equation is obtained from equation 12.3HB in page number 219. Now we calculate the pitch line velocity V as 706.5 into 10 raised to minus 3 M. M in this case is 10. So the pitch line velocity V is 7.065 meters per second. And by substituting the value of this V in the equation for CV, we find out CV as 0 0.463. Now we substitute the value of CV and M in the equation CV M cube equal to RHS. I mean 365.4. And by substituting the value of CV and M, we get 0 0.463 into 10 cube that is 463. That is greater than RHS. That means the module that we selected is suitable. That is the module 10 mm is suitable. So now, there may be a possibility of a lower value of module that is also suitable. So in order to check for that particular condition, we go for the trial 2. In the trial 2, we find out a module that is lower than the 10 millimeter and the standard module that is lower than the 10 millimeter is 8 millimeter. It can be obtained from the table 12.24 in page number 242. Again, we assume the generated teeth. So CV is equal to 6.1 divided by 6.1 plus V. And the pitch line velocity V in this case is 0 0.7065 into H. That is 5.652 meters per second. By substituting this value of pitch line velocity in the equation for CV, we get CV as 0 0.5191. And then substituting the value of CV and M in CV M cube, we get CV into M cube as 265.8. And this value is less than the RHS. That means the module 8 mm is not suitable, but the module 10 mm is suitable and hence we select this module 10 mm. Now we find out some important dimensions of gear. Module M is 10 millimeter that we all have already decided. Then the pitch circle diameter of the pinion D1 is M into Z1 that is 10 into 18 that is 180 millimeter. Pitch circle diameter of gear D2 is M into Z2 that is 540 millimeter. Then the cone distance L equal to D1 divided by 2 sin delta 1. And this is equation 12.33 in page number 270. So L is obtained as 284.68 millimeter and we approximate this particular cone distance 284.68 to a higher value that is 300 millimeter. Now the phase width B, we assumed it to be 10 times the module and hence it is obtained as 100 millimeter. Now in the next step, we check for dynamic and wear loads. In order to do it, first we calculate the dynamic load. Fd equal to Ft plus K3V into Cb plus Ft divided by K3V plus square root of Cb plus Ft. This is equation 12.40 in page number 290. Now the tangential load Ft is 79,617.8 divided by m, which we have already found out, and m is 10. And by substituting the value of m, we get Ft as 7,961.8 Newton. Now the value of K3 is 20.67. It is given just below the equation itself. 
Now the pitch line velocity V in this case is 7.065 meters per second. Phase width V equal to 100 millimeter. And the dynamic factor C, it has to be found out, found out by interpolating the error E. This value C can be found out from the table 12.12 in page number 236. Now the permissible error E can be obtained from the table 12.13 in page number 237. For module is 10 millimeter and we assume it to be class 2 gears. Therefore the error is 0 0.0445 and by interpolating we can find out the value of C. Therefore capital C can be found out as 457.8 plus 686.7 minus 457.8 divided by 0 0.06 minus 0 0.04 multiplied by 0 0.0445 minus 0 0.04. In this case, this value 457.8 is the C value corresponding to the error 0 0.04 and the value 686.7 is the C value corresponding to the error 0 0.06. Now by interpolating, we obtain C as 509.3. By substituting the values in the equation for dynamic load, we obtain the dynamic load Fd as 30086.7 Newton. Now we find out the wear load using the equation Fw equal to D1 B Q E K divided by cos delta 1. This is the equation 12.41 in page number 290. D1 is the pitch circle diameter of pinion that is 180 millimeter. B is the face width that is 100 millimeter. QE is the ratio factor that is 2 times Z2E divided by Z2E plus Z1E. It is obtained as 1.8. Now the pitch angle of pinion delta 1 is 18.43. And thus we obtain the wear load Fw in terms of K. So the wear load Fw is 34,151.6 K. Now for the design to be safe, the wear load should be greater than the dynamic load. That is Fw should be greater than Fd by substituting 34,151.6 K greater than 30,086.7 we obtain the value of K should be greater than 0 0.88 and for K to be greater than 0 0.88 and alpha equal to 20 degree from the table 12.16 in the page number 239 we can find out the recommended hardness for pinion as well as gear. In this case, we obtain the values to be same, that is 250 bhn. That is, for pinion, the surface hardness should be 250 bhn and for gear also, the surface hardness should be 250 bhn. And now to conclude, the module is obtained as 10 millimeter. The other design parameters are provided in the step 3. The design is safe for strength. As we found out, the module based on the strength of the gear tooth. And the design is safe for wear if the BHN values are at least 250 for pinion and gear. And that's all. Thank you.